If you're looking for a cheap and reliable Minecraft server, head over to servermine.com and use the link in the description for 10% off your first month with them. Hello and welcome to episode 1 of the plugin installation series. Because this is episode 1, I think it's best for actually show you how to set up and run your own Minecraft server, seeing you need that server to actually install the plugins on. Now this server will either be Craft Bucket or Spigot, I'll show you how to pick which one you want when we get to that part of the video. Now this server will not be requiring port forwarding, therefore we will be using Logpin Amachi, which is a program that allows between 1-5 to five people to connect to I think it is. Um, so they just basically connect to your little network on Logbean Hamachi, then they then allow them to connect to your Minecraft server. So seeing we'll be using Logbean Hamachi, we might as well download that. So just click on the link in the description below that says Logbean Hamachi. We'll take you to this page here. Once on the page, just click Conditions of Use, a little tick box down the bottom, and then hit Download for Unmanaged. Um, we'll then begin downloading the installer, just drag it onto your desktop. Follow the installation steps and then you're done. I'm not going to do this, it's really easy and simple to do. And I've already got it on my computer as well, so no point doing it twice. The next thing we're going to do is go to the download page for Git Bash. Once again, the link for that's in the description below. Once here, just click on the download button, it'll begin downloading. Drag the installer onto your desktop. Follow the installation steps once again. I'm not going to show you how to do this because I've already got it on my computer and it's very straightforward and easy. The next thing to do after that is go to the download page for build tools. Once on this page, you'll see a whole lot of build um, builds in the build history tab. If you want to download the latest build, so at the moment it's 40, so just click on hashtag 40. You'll be taken to this page here, then just click on the buildtools.jar and it'll begin downloading that build. Just click keep. Once it's done downloading, just drag it out of your downloads and onto your desktop. The next thing to do is create a folder on your desktop. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it server files because this is where all the server files are going to be going. Once you've created that folder, just drag build tools into here, then open up the folder up, then open the folder up, sorry. Now once in the folder, obviously you can see build tools, but if your build tools has a number after it like mine does, just right click on it, click rename and take off the number so it just says build tools. If yours already just has build tools, you don't need to worry about that step. Now if you installed git bash correctly, when you right click on build tools again, you should, you should see two options at the top. One says git bash and then it says git in here. We want to click on git bash and it's going to open up this little window. Now in this window, we're going to type java space dash jar space build tools one word dot jar. Now that will be in the description below. You can't copy and paste, you're gonna to need to hand type it in. Once you've typed it in, just hit enter. We'll come up with a few new things and it'll start downloading more things into the server files folder. As you can see, build tools logs been added, work's been added, and buckets been added. And over the course of the next 20 minutes, a whole bunch of other files will be added. So yeah, this can take up to 20 minutes. It can take five. It really depends on how fast your internet is, but generally maximum of 20 minutes. So I'm just going to pause the video and get back to you once it's done. Now that it's finished, we can see it says success, everything compiled successfully, and there's a whole lot of new files in the server files folder. Now the next thing we're going to do is we can close down the server files folder, we can close down git bash, go over to log me in Hamachi and open it up. Now in launching it, if you get an error message saying fail to connect the engine, just uninstall Hamachi completely from your computer and then reinstall it. This has been happening a lot to me and I found just uninstalling it and reinstalling it fixes the problem. So once in Logbean Hamachi you will see a power button with offline next to it. Just click that power button. You'll be prompted to log in most likely. Just give it a second to load. Yep, see so we have to log in or sign up. I already have an account so I'm going to log in. But you guys will probably have to sign up. Just got to put your email address in, password and verify your email address. Once you've created your account, you now be given two options. One's either to create a network or join an existing network. We want to create a network. We'll now have to put a network ID in. So this will be the name of the network your friends will use to connect to the server. So I'm just going to do my server for feathered password, just Minecraft. This password will be what your friends will use to connect to your Hamachi network. 
and then once you're in it you can see there's one out of five people in uh, it says my server for feathered and you can just give your friends that network uh, ID and the password they can connect your network and then once they're in that network they can connect your server now that we've done this we're going to open back up the server files folder and create a text document in the folder go into it I'm going to copy and paste this information into it this will be in the description of the video uh, first lines at echo off next lines Java a bunch of other stuff then under that's called pause you'll see it not that hard to miss just copy it paste it into the text document and then on the second line all the way to all the third line actually all the way to the right you'll see it says spigot.jar um, this is where you choose if you want a spigot server or craft bucket server so I want a spigot server but you need to add the version so as you can see in the server files folder for me it says 1.8.7 I want to put dot uh, 1.8.7 if you want craft bucket you change that from spigot to craft bucket 1.8.7 or if you're watching this and it's a later version, just put it 1.8.8, just depends what version you're on. We now want to go File, Save As, and then change it from New Text Document to Start.bat, B-A-T, Save Type As, we want to change this to All Files, and then hit Save. And you can close down this notepad. And now in the Server Files folder, you'll see a bat file called Start. You want to open it up. You should then be given an error message uh, stopping server and I'll ask you to confirm the EULA. You'll now see a new text document in the server files folder called EULA. Open this up. Uh, it says, by changing the setting below to true, you're indicating your agreement to our EULA. So EULA equals false, change that to EULA equals true. File save. You can now close this down, close back down this command prompt and then click on start again. This time it should run through smoothly. Yep, it's run through. It's now setting up the spawn. And this is now booting up. Now, in this area, this is where you can op yourself. You just type in it, op, then your username. This is the console of the server. Very important. If this is up, it means the server is up and running. If it's down, it means the server is not on. So to close the server, you just close this down and open the server back up. You just run that start that again and the server will come back up online. Now that it's finished preparing the spawn, we can see a few more things being downloaded into the server files folder. We have band IPs, op players, permissions, all those things now in the server files folder. I still have Logmin Hamachi open, I still have the console open. And now we're going to head over to Minecraft, go to the multiplayer section of the menu, and you can click direct connect and it'll connect you straight to your server. Or you can go add server and then in Logmin Hamachi, Next to the power button and above the name of your PC, you can see an IP address. You want to type that in to the in the server IP uh, address area, which is like you would with a normal server IP address. Then just click done. Scroll down to where your server is, and as you can see, 20 slots available. You should be able to join it. Yes, the server has worked, it's been set up now. Um, to close the server down, you just close the command prompt down and it should shut down the server. Yes, it did. And then to open the server back up again, you just go to that server files folder on your desktop and then run the start bat again. Um, and for your friends to connect, once again, you just go to Logging Hamachi, give them the details, they connect. Your logging in Hamachi needs to be on and working for the server to be operational as well. So that's it for how to install a server on your computer using Craft Bucket or Spigot. If you enjoyed it, liked it, or it helped you at all, just give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe because it would really help. Check out my YouTube channel for other videos on how to install plugins on the server now that you have it, set them up, and use them. So I'm Feathered Gaming, thanks for watching, and goodbye.